Hi, I'm Todd Banner. Welcome to my channel. Well, yes, it's true. I have been assimilated into the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Continuum. A little Star Trek reference for people who uh, don't remember that uh, whole thing. Um, anyway, I'm also right now doing a 24-hour fast. It's going to be like, be able to eat in about three hours. So if I pass out, you know why. Anyway, uh, if you've been watching my videos for the past month or two, you may have noticed the that, I mean, Sharp Bite people may have figured out that I was using the uh, Osmo Pocket 3. And the reason that I bought this thing is uh, I was having issues, and I've mentioned this before, I was having issues with my phone, my uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max and the microphone to lightning adapter and it was really getting spotty and getting a microphone to work. And I thought I really didn't want to mess with getting a new phone. This phone works fine as a phone, it takes decent photos if I need to do that. So I was watching a lot of reviews of this thing on YouTube and finally thought, well, it's probably pretty useful. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. And yeah, it is quite useful. And I bought the Creator Combo Kit. So that comes with uh, the Osmo Pocket 3 in this little protective case that you can put it into. It actually comes with this carrying case. I had some, I think somebody on YouTube said that they had trouble fitting this in with all the other things and getting it to close. I've been able to get it to close, although not zip completely closed, but closed enough. Um, also comes with a little uh, remote microphone that you can clip on, um, a little battery pack so you can extend your uh, recording time, a little handle extender that you can use instead of the battery pack, there's no battery in here, and a little, oops, it fell on the floor, and a little tripod which is pretty cool for doing stuff we just set it on a tabletop so that's uh that in addition it comes with a little wide angle adapter lens so it's got a 20 millimeter field of view and then you can put filters on the front or this wide angle adapter and it's magnetic so those work pretty well so with the wide angle adapter it's a gives you about 15 millimeters uh, angle of view and uh, there's a spot here for a black mist filter which doesn't come with a kit but I bought one I bought a KNF Concept I haven't had a chance to use that yet KNF Concept seems to make pretty good filters at really decent prices so um, in addition I bought a couple of other filters and I bought this little Ultimax, it's an actually an SD card wallet. I don't know, I think it might have been 10 bucks. Um, and so it's got a spot for three SD cards. And it turns out it works really well for these little filters. Although what I did was, I also used the little plastic case that has some old SD cards I don't use anymore. So I used a little plastic case to put the filters in. So I bought a circular polarizer. And I also bought an ND32 variable uh, ND filter, uh, also KNF Concept. I will say, the thing about these, if you've got big man hands, using these filters can be a little tricky. Um, so you want to make sure that if you're in a place where you might drop them, you want them to drop somewhere that you'll be able to find them and maybe not on concrete. So... And good luck in the wintertime if you're going to try doing it with the gloves. Ain't going to happen. So you can go crazy on filters. Uh, if you, go, uh, you, you can see reviews of these entire filter kits. I would probably just buy a few. And then as you go along, see if you need more. Uh, but these things are fiddly and... You know, they, you may not want to even mess with filters at all. It depends on, you know, what you want to do with this. Um, 
So the only other filter that I think I would would consider is a stronger ND filter than this one. So, I, but I haven't run into a case where I, I think I really need that. Um, so, uh, you can find tons of videos about this device on YouTube. Lots of reviews. So this is not really a review. Uh, there's a learning curve. So there's a lot of settings in this thing. It took me a while to figure out how to slow down the pan speed with the little joystick because uh, the default setting was like way too fast. And so what I was doing is I was trying to pan by hand and eh, I'm not always that smooth. So you can go into the settings. You can turn the pan speed down. And I found the lowest setting is, is uh, good for pans. Uh, other thing is, and you'll see this mentioned on other videos, is setting the exposure compensation to minus one third. Uh, yeah, it just looks a little overexposed if you don't do that. So also, you know, you have the standard color uh, profile available, and then you also have uh, D-Log. You know, for YouTube videos, I mean, I've just been shooting with the standard color profile, and it looks fine. Uh, I suppose if I was going to do a film or something, I'd want to be able to color grade and so the D-log is available. But my attitude about YouTube videos is why make it more any more complex than it needs to be? So there's that. Um, so I'm going to leave you with a little video I did um, actually fairly early on. So this, this has been sitting here on my computer for at least a month, maybe a little bit more. It was a really raw day about a month ago. It was cloudy, windy. But Oak Park, my former town, has a conservatory. And for, for a little conservatory, it's really pretty cool. So I went in and did a video of the conservatory and also took stills with the Lumix G95 and the 12 to 60. That's it. Didn't use any other lens. So I'll leave you with that video. If uh, this whole thing is useful to you, um, please like and subscribe. Any comments, questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer those as soon as I can. I'm Todd Banner. Here's the video.